Hello LEGO fans, Adult Fun of LEGO UK here. Welcome to my review of this LEGO Star Wars set, the Z95 Headhunter. This is set 75004. It's for ages 8 to 14. Comes with a piece count of 373. And currently retails in the UK for £39.99 at the LEGO store or the LEGO store online. Okay, let's have a look at the instructions. There we go, the front, same as the box, there's the rear, into the inside some Lego club information, and then we have some of these sets from this particular wave, uh, the inventory is on just the one page actually, it's just that one page, obviously this is quite a big page, we have a total of 55 pages of build, some safety information in the front, and obviously first page is there, this came with I think it was three, I know four bags, so obviously we can see there each bag and what's built um, from each bag. Okay so that's the instructions. Next up um, sticker sheet, obviously empty because all the stickers have been applied now, but just to give you an idea of the stickers that come with the set. Okay, so let's take a look at the box itself. Obviously, seen the front. Um, down here, we've got the minifigures um, that come in the set. You can see they're all new to this set. We'll take a closer look at those in a second. Um, on the rear of the box, as always, we have some of the functions and features that come with the set. And again, once we had a look at the set itself. Um, Obviously, be able to take a closer look at those features and functions. Okay, so next we will take a look at the minifigures and then we'll have a look at the set itself. Okay, so first up we've got our 501st clone pilot. Let's take a look at him or her. Okay, so you see there. Front torso printing, there is some blue detail at the top here. Rear torso printing. And that helmet, which does look pretty cool. Some excellent printing, particular blue colours going down the side there. Take a look at the top. Okay, let's remove the helmet. Let's see. Standard clone face, single sided. Okay, so that's our pilot. Okay, next up we have the 501st Legion clone trooper. Again, some excellent printing on this one. You can see down on the legs, we have printing detail there, and obviously across onto the torso, the blue arms. And the helmet again, some nice printing detail on the helmet. Okay, remove the helmet again. Our clone trooper face. Okay, so that's the 501st Legion clone trooper. Okay, next up we have Pong Krell. Um, excellent, in my opinion, minifigure. Very, very unusual. I'll show you how this is built in a minute. You can see there he's got four arms. He's carrying the, um, two of the dual lightsabers. See the rear there, so let's just remove these lightsabers. Okay, take a better look now. Some of the detail. See that leg print in there. You've got this row piece coming down the front there. See his face detail with some good printing on there. Really good mould. I think this does look awesome. So the way this is built, I'll just remove the top piece there. So this is actually. All one piece, 
comes with those arms in there and then what he obviously fits into is a standard torso um, and legs and you can see the print in there on that front torso so you can obviously see the robe detail there on the front and rear the white arms and then that headpiece just simply slots on top like so to give it the full arm effect really clever and I think he does look pretty awesome there we go okay so we'll take you around the actual um, Z95 head hunter itself now you can see it there sitting in front of us looking pretty menacing so let's take a look at some of the features okay so we can see the actual head hunter there in all its glory Take you around, you can see there the rear engine detail and the exhaust um, back here in orange. Looking good. Okay, underneath this feature here, I will come on to in a minute, and you can see some, some Technic pieces in there. There's actually this uh, missile, uh, but I'll show you that in a second. So we've got the landing gear single one at the front and then the two at the back and these do adjust so they can be tucked out of the way like so and brought obviously back down <coughs> okay moving around to the front we have the cockpit here which opens up like so and you see in there where our pilot will sit you see the down here this is actually a sticker so we have a sticker there on top of a uh, 1x2 plate okay next here again this is a sticker going over this part here um, at the rear this again lifts up like so there and what we have in here is a um, it's called a tool rack so this does actually come out um, what's actually on this this is just a storage area for see we have there a blaster and then a set of binoculars so again that just fits back in nicely into there just literally just slots in like so okay again that just closes up there um, like that so some detail again on the side of the wings here some missiles and again on that side they're fixed they won't move so the next feature on this is what I pointed out underneath here so this will f this just comes down see that there and oh, you just missed that there but that actually flicks out so I'm just going to reload that and show you that again Okay guys, apologies about that, so I'm just going to try and get this into shot now, so if we can try and see this fire right now, so I'm just going to pull it down and you'll see it shoot out. Hopefully you did see that come out, but trust me, um, it does shoot out of that mechanism there, so a few Technic pieces in there, but I'll just uh, load that back up again. Okay, so we are, it's loaded back in there again, so take a look at it, you can see it's sat in there. Again, that's simply how this just pull that down like so. If we put it right the way down, and it will. Oh, there we go again. As you can see, it fires out and it does fire a long way. Um, just taking a, uh, another tour round with some more detail here. So, again, this is another sticker here, and again on the other side. Again, this is just some of the engine detail. I think this is a good looking set. I think it does look pretty cool. Z95 Headhunter. Um, I think that's pretty much it, that's all the features, so just put that down and we'll have a look with some of the minifigures in place. Okay, so we're just simply going to put our 501st clone pilot into the cockpit area now. So I'll just show you that, so again the cockpit just simply opens up like so. Here's our pilot, he just simply slides into position, like so. Again, the cockpit will close down. OK, 
Okay guys, that's it for this review. Um, hope you enjoyed the review. Please go ahead, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Provide me with any comments down in the comments um, section. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.